Welcome to episode 60 of Comics and Us. I'm TJ. And I'm Chris. And I'm Lumpy. And this is the review show that reviews comics. Chronologically. Kind of. Alright. So we're going to Detective Comics number 64 here. It was released in June 1942. It was written... Well, the title of it is The Joker's Last Walks the Last Mile. It was written by Bill Finger, penciled by Bob Kane, inked by Jerry Robinson and George Russo's. Lettered by Iris Schnapp, edited by Whitney Elsewhere. Cover artist was Jerry Robinson. Executive editor was also Whitney Elsworth. Okay, so we got some new writers last time, but these are the old writers again, right? Yes. Okay. I guess Detective Comics is always going to be the old writers, probably, most likely, for a while, uh, anyway. Well, I don't know. I just... I. Batman comics have four stories in them, so they probably needed to hire more writers so they can get more stories yeah. out on time. Right. So, so I, I guess Detective Comics, you're, they're only really writing that one because the other stories in it are written by other people. Yeah. So, so this comic is also notable because it is the first appearance of the Boy Commandos. Yeah, I don't have that in my issue. Yeah, which made me really mad, yeah. and I get it, it's my fault, but when I read this and saw that on the front, I was like, oh, cool, this is going to be a cool comic, okay. there's something so in it. So, you both are confused, that's the next issue, we're on the one before that. No, 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 uh, this no, says no, new feature, not. number 64 says new feature, the Boy Commandos. Oh, up the top, I got you. Yeah. Uh-huh. I don't, do you have the Boy Commandos in this new feature? In the Detective Comics, yes, but it's not a Batman oh. story. Oh, I got you. Yeah, that is why. Yeah. I thought it was going to be in the Batman story, but it's a, it's a Robin story, right? Or is it all new people? It's new people. It's They replaced Larry Steele. Different... Oh, okay. And they're supposed to be detectives. Well, they're not detectives. In fact, I'll read. Do you guys know who the Boy Commandos are? I do not. I do not either. And actually, what? just I thought they were part of this well, story. Because it's on a Batman cover, I thought it was a Batman feature, but yes. not, I realize now that it's a Detective Comics feature. Yes. Now I get it. But, so, the Boy Commandos are, you know, I've heard of them before, but they're, they've been around forever, obviously, but the description of them, they are a group of child soldiers who fought for the Allied forces against the Axis forces in World War II. Wow. So, oh, well. So, yeah, America's employing child soldiers now. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time that a country did that for war, so... <laughs> yeah, true. But, so, that's what it is. That's who they are. Okay. They were also created by uh, Joe Simon, who you guys probably don't know, but you might have heard this name, Jack Kirby. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, yeah. It, Joe Simon, Simon & Schuster, right? From Superman. No. No? Okay. Then no, no I don't know who to hit, who he is. But yeah, I've Joe heard Simon. Kirby. I'm not sure who Joe Simon is, actually, but... Uh, Jack Kirby is a popular name, so... He's guys... also a Marvel and DC writer, so... Right. Joe Simon's the co-creator of Captain America, apparently. Oh, okay. Oh, I actually didn't know that. So, yeah, I mean, we're not reading the Boy Commandos, so there's no need to get into that. Any no, only that. because I got tricked, because I thought that they were like a team that was teaming up with Batman and Robin. And right, I thought it was happen. a Robin thing. I thought Robin's buddies yeah. were going to help him or something. Uh, but I realized so he doesn't have any friends except Batman, so... Correct, <laughs> and they're not even friends. <laughs> and Commissioner yeah. Gordon and any one of Batman's love interests at the time. At the time, yeah. All right, but since we're on it, why don't you guys talk about the cover? The cover has nothing to do with the story. Uh, yes, R- Don Cannon... Uh, the, the, they're inside what I think is a airplane museum, and it's on fire, and there's people shooting at them. Why an airplane museum? Why yeah, it, I thought it was why, a hangar. Why is it it's just a hangar, yeah. Well, Did it keep uh, a lot of gasoline in an airplane museum? I was kind of joking when I said that. <laughs> okay. I was just saying, they are, they're flying an airplane indoors. And well, I'll like, give you... I'll give you one really thing. It sense. is an old timey airplane. It is an old timey airplane, so it, that makes it, sense. Yeah. The museum. <laughs> it's yeah, 1942, it though. <laughs> right, exactly. It's old timey to us. Yeah. I was actually saying it as a joke because it's literally there's like a window behind them. And yeah, I think like, they're in an well, airport hangar. But That's still, in a hangar, in a hangar, I've never seen a giant bay window with like um, 50 squares behind it. Have you Did seen you fly every a lot hangar of ever? Yeah. <laughs> 
Did you ever fly a lot of airplanes uh, in 1942? But I did. I have seen airplane listen, hangers. <laughs> I've I've I eat breakfast at the airport cafe uh, like twice a week. None of the hangers have windows. None. No, zero. zero windows at all. Zero windows in any of the hangers. I know they got the any- giant garage door in the front, but I don't know about windows. Maybe a that hangar, but how do you know not every hangar doesn't have a window? Maybe I'm not this guy's they airplane don't have windows. Maybe I'm just saying this like, one look more like a when museum. When this guy rented the hangar, he said, "I want one with a window." That was it. I want a nice view out of my hangar. The reality of us even talking about this, you'll <laughs> never know. Is you don't know. It's no, your interpretation you know. because this picture means nothing to anything. Right. Ever. It doesn't go to any story. It doesn't go. It goes nowhere. As far as it I'm is also. I'm like, wrong. Well, here's the next thing. There's a giant window. It's daytime outside, and the lights are on right now. Just well, a tiny I, little light right there. In my version, it looks like it's dark outside. Yeah, it's blue. It's like nighttime. Mine's sky blue. The, Mine's the sky dark, is really dark blueish. Uh, it's kind of like dark. Mine's really, mine's mine's light blue, like a blue sky outside when the sun's out. No, it looks like night to me on mine. Nope, mine's the same color as Batman's. Um, I stopped caring five minutes ago blue. and started reading my text. <laughs> <laughs> Again, yes, there's, this means nothing. We're doing this. It means nothing. Well, this comic's kind of weird because half of it is the Detective Comics logo, and then it, the drawings like right in this bottom half of it instead of taking up the whole cover like it normally does. Right. Yeah, well, that's because the picture's the size of a postcard that you would buy in a museum and send home to your... Uh, oh, family. because it's in an airport museum. Oh, airport museum. A, museum, a museum with a bunch of robbers with Tommy <laughs> guns set in a plane on fire as Batman and Robin try to escape in it. They're trying to steal yeah. all the artifacts out of the museum. What else would they be stealing from a hangar? I don't the hanger, steal. They're not trying to steal anything. They're trying to kill Batman and Robin and destroy the plane. <laughs> because Batman yeah. and Robin caught the Robin the museum. We'll never know because it has nothing to do with the comic. <laughs> <laughs> it's still, this is all. This is all. I could be right. You could be it, right. It's all know. speculation. It's your opinion. You're, you're right. It's you're right. just a picture. Except I'm running this thing, so I'm right. <laughs> you break all ties. You're wrong. Yeah, I break all ties. <laughs> you're wrong. Anyway, this comic is ten cents. It is a DC Superman publication. Batman's in a circle up in the corner of the cover for some reason. Yeah. And it says new feature, the boy commandos as like it's like you they slapped on a piece of tape or something over the comic. How much is it in Canada? Yep. Ten cents. <laughs> <laughs> Not for sale. Alright, All right, moving on. Uh, I got an ad for uh, some kind of Defender 1000 shot military model BB gun. Yeah. I wish I wanted that when I was a kid. And Uncle I Sam seems work. Uncle Sam seems to be wielding one, some army guy, and some kid about 12 is yeah. has one too. That's how I need one. You can get a daisy pump gun and a lightning loader carbine or a red rider. You'll shoot your eye out, Shoot kid. your eye out. <laughs> You'll shoot your eye out, kid. We're going to say it every time he says Red Rider. (laughs) (laughs) I think think everybody says it every time they hear me. (laughs) All right. So into the story proper. I don't know if this splash. What? What into the splash page. You're not in the story proper yet. Well, that's what I'm. Is this (laughs) opening splash page canon? I don't know know what's going on here. What is that? Why is there like a a sticker in the middle? There's an obituary for the Joker. Right. And then that looks like one of the times Batman and Robin were chasing him at the Jewel Thieves from one of the previous comics. And then there's a bunch of cops beating on the Joker saying confess over and over. Right. So what is going on here? What is the, what's the little picture in the middle with the flashlight shining on it? What is that? that that's a movie projector. Is that what it is? Like an old film projector? Yeah, that's a film projector projecting Batman and Robin beating up the Joker or trying to stop him from stealing the jewels and the cops are arresting him for it and saying, confess, confess, confess. Well, I hate to tell you, but it's stupid. And I hate to tell you that because they didn't film. Nobody filmed it while Batman and Robin were doing that. How do you know? Because they didn't have... They, uh, video camera was like 80 pounds at that time. They had to push it around on a cart. Maybe it's a reenactment. <laughs> 
Maybe. Uh, okay. I'll give you that. <laughs> and it's not canon anyway. It doesn't matter. This didn't happen. Well, not in the this movie's comic, it didn't anyway. that movie's that movie's canon. I remember that panel. Okay. But uh, but the scene of them beating on the on the Joker trying to get him to confess. It's you, not don't not they, you don't no, know no. that they didn't do that between the time no. he confessed and he didn't. They didn't have to. No, they they didn't have up to beat on him. Yeah. They didn't, there was no reason Spoiler. for him to in this story. Spoiler. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we open up with the Joker in his lair, and one of his goons is listening to baseball on the radio. <laughs> And he's, like, drinking a beer or something, and he's like, ah, oh, this is the life. And the Joker kind of, like, freaks out on him and just says, this is lame. I can't go out and do anything because I'm the Joker and everybody knows me and they're going to try and arrest me. That's and pretty. DiMaggio connects. Yeah. And so he's complaining about how he's stuck in his hideouts and can't spend any of his money because, you know, he stole it all. And, you know, cops are after him. And But he has an idea. And he tells it to his thugs. Meanwhile, we cut over to police headquarters, and the cops are discussing, hey, I wish I could catch the Joker and get a $100,000 reward. And then the Joker walks in, and they so all who gets jump the on reward? him. No one. No one. No, because he gave himself up. I do like the, um, when the Joker walks in, the, the cigar that he's got, the, he's smoking a cigarette or a cigar, and then the, the skeleton. Do you see? It looks, it's a that's really cool. cool drawing. Yeah, like, I, cool, I, I like, like the way it's drawn. Yeah. Well, cigarettes will kill you. Yeah, it's true. It's good. Yeah. But, you know, the cops are surprised to see the Joker, so they arrest him. And then, the, I guess the next day, it just says the fantastic news is blazing on the back in black headlines, where the Joker surrendered to the police. And yeah. it's announced all over the radio. And I guess jails are like zoos, because people yeah. just come in and look it at the Joker. while past... The prisoners sell past thousands each day. So they just let people, like, pay admission and come look at them? I guess. That's what it looks like. Because yeah. that's what they're doing. People are in line to walk by and look at the Joker in his cage. It's weird. There's two old ladies standing there, and he's calling them stupid fools. <laughs> it's it's definitely weird. I've never heard that before. <laughs> I, no. I thought, it was, I thought it was an old man and an old lady, but okay. Okay. That's possible, too. Uh, their hats it's look possible. A little, yeah. Anyway, Bruce and Dick are in line to see the Joker, too, I guess, to make sure he's there. And then they say visitor hours are over and everyone has to leave because it's time for the Joker to confess. So apparently visiting hours, they open the doors and you can just walk through. <laughs> apparently, yeah. Everybody okay. coming to visit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is the Gotham PD, so. <laughs> that is true. 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 They do true. run things a little differently in Gotham, so. And so the Joker confesses to everything he's ever done and the cops are like he won't ever stop confessing yeah, they don't know what to do with him they're like he's just he every day he tells us something new <laughs> <laughs> and then the try he went to trial and he's telling the drug judge to hurry up and speak up and so they uh convict him he's guilty and they send him to the electric chair yeah joker's gonna die yeah pretty much uh he so is the I always wonder this. Is the that walk actually a mile long? I don't know. They do call it the green mile or the last mile. Yeah, is it actually a mile? It's a long way to walk. Right. Uh, I'd like to know that. <laughs> uh, I mean, or do stalling? they just say it? Do they just say it because it's... Listen, we're stalling and we don't hear you typing, so... <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> Make me do work. <laughs> I'm trying to do it now too, but I don't even know what to put in there. Oh uh, yeah, it just always—they always said it, and I always thought that was a really long way to walk, though. So, like, is the is the prison a mile long? I mean, I would assume it's a mile long and across with all so many cells. But is that death row place a mile long? Is the walk to the his cell to the the electric chair that mile long. Well, guess what? I don't. I'm, I can't go no further because it just keeps telling me about last mile in like corporations and stuff. The term using like, last mile is a, is a term used in supply chain management and transportation planning to describe the last leg of a journey. So maybe it's just the last leg of the journey. Perhaps I, I think that's what it is. I think it's just because everything I'm reading says they call it the mile. Yeah, I don't know. Well, they take the Joker to the electric chair. And they fry them. <laughs> yeah, this this is crazy to me. This is not the way I would try to go out if I thought wanted people to think I was dead, right? No, like, yeah, because he let me really get electrocuted to death. 
Right. Did he say no. that he was faking his death, Joker? He just said he was going to die. Yeah, all right, we're right. So, yeah, they fry him, and they pronounce him dead. Yeah, he's dead. The That's last it. mile the last mile is a term coined in Sing Sing Prison. It refers to the perceived distance that a condemned prisoner must walk from his cell to the death chamber on the day of his execution. So it feels um, like a mile to him. Right. The journey from cell to door is short in steps, but the distance is psychologically vast. Prisoners call it the last mile. But it's okay. not a mile. Yeah. Yeah. So we're out of Joker's pronounced dead. That's it. Yep, Joker's pronounced dead. However, minutes later, it says minutes. Remember yeah, because that because they only they only have fifteen minutes to get the, to get this done. Minutes later, Joker's thugs break into the prison yep. to w- where the body's being kept. I guess they have. Uh, I guess they would have to have facilities for that kind of stuff, right? You would think. So, I guess. But they literally just set up a ladder to the prison to get there. It's really easy to break into the prison, apparently. Again, Gotham. True. <laughs> and his thug carry his body out into his private ambulance. Why he has a private ambulance, I don't know. Yeah. But And they stick him with something, and he wakes no, back no. up. They don't even stick him with something. They sh- force serum into his mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They pour it in his mouth. Yeah. He wakes up. Yeah. Whatever the case, he wakes up because of this. I guess you can survive the electric chair if you pour serum in your mouth. Well, also, I don't want to go through that for people to think I'm dead. Like, you're going to let somebody electrocute you to death? Even well, if they not, can bring you back. That's not really his plan. Because his plan is he's committed his uh, sentence, essentially. He's been executed for the crimes he's committed. Right. He, he can't do it again because it's I double mean, jeopardy. That's his plan. <laughs> it's convoluted how we got there. It is. But... I- I'll be honest. I'd be very curious. Uh, uh, obviously, it's far fetched. It's not possible, but I'm curious of what the justice system would actually have to do for this. <laughs> well, they they would have to wait for him to commit another crime because they you can't literally convict him again on the same crimes. It's true. They can't. They exacted his punishment and justice. Though, what's unrealistic is they usually make people wait a long time before they execute them. Right, oh, right. He, oh, they execute him that day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're like, let's get him into the chair quickly. That does, that's not how that works. But I think more people die on death row than get executed, to be honest with you. So, so you know, it is what it is. But anyway, so the Joker's, he's up and he's out and he's going to go out and do some shopping. He goes to a, he goes to a jewelry store and some guys in the jewelry store owner sees him. He calls the cops. So the Joker's going to rob me. Batman and Robin show up and just Start attacking him on the and street. He never said he was going to rob this guy either. I don't know why the guy went crazy and said he's going to rob me. Well, I mean, it's the it's Joker. It's the Joker. <laughs> True, and he's supposed to be dead. So, yeah. If the so, Joker I mean, walked into my place, I'd be calling the cops. I'm just well, saying. they. You said they start attacking him. No, they try to attack him, and then the Joker whips Robin's ass. <laughs> well, not even that. Robin dives to the Joker, and he steps aside. He never lays a finger on Robin. Right. Well, he said, "Is that?" What? Oh, look out, brat. You missed me again. <laughs> yeah, you're right. And it looks like Robin goes through the front glass of the window. The window, yep. yeah. He does. And then Batman throws a trash can over his head. And they drag him to the police station. And, you know, this is where we find out, you can't charge me twice. I didn't do anything. I committed. Jeopardy. Yep, double jeopardy. I served my sentence. Can't do nothing. So Batman and Robin attacked an innocent person on the street. Essentially, he mentions that too. He says, "I would get you. I would ar- have you arrested for assault." But I feel, you know, I'm in a good mood or something. He says, "But you I know, decide to be generous because I'm free." So Batman and Robin decide that you know Joker's up to something. So they watch his. I guess he just stays in this hotel the whole time. He does because he's using the light from his hotel yeah. to send the, the the other guys. You know, Morse code. Yeah, Morse code and and instruction. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's pretty much so, his plan. But Good. Batman and Robin watch his hotel room in different disguises every day. Apparently, yeah, they just keep <laughs> they keep watching them. I guess nothing else is happening in Gotham at this time. Uh, at one time, uh, it looks like Batman's an old man with a cup of coffee, and Robin's sitting on his lap. I don't know what's yeah. going on there. Yeah, and then yeah. Robin's a shoe shine boy, and they're even talking about shoe shines, and then saying things about anything yet, Dick. Yeah, yeah. he said. <laughs> Shine, kid. Anything yet, Dick? 
Okay, mister. Nothing, Bruce. Out loud. <laughs> like, that's the weirdest conversation. <laughs> <laughs> they don't even write it smaller like he's whispering or nothing either. It's nope. just like they're saying nope. it out loud. No, there's an exclamation <laughs> point next to Yeah, like Rob he's yelling at almost. Yeah, he's, so he's yelling at him. <laughs> but Joker thinks they're detectives, and then this is where we learned that he's sending uh, Morse code to his things. And so... His thugs get get the thing, get the message, and they're gonna commit some crimes. Then Bruce and Bruce and Dick are bored, so they decide they're gonna go catch an ice show because I guess that's what they do. Well, I mean, there's no TV, yeah. right? <laughs> but I guess Bruce you know, could have had TV at that time, right? Uh, maybe yeah, he could have, but you know, it's just you know, you don't think of ice skating shows. No, like when even when he said that, the first thing that popped in my mind was taking the kids to see Disney on Ice. Yeah, Disney on Ice. That's exactly yeah, what I Disney thought. I was ice. like, I mean, at that time, you would think they would go to a play or an opera or something, you know? Right. And so it just feels weird. Weird. Anyway, they get there early and they're wet in the ice to make it freeze. But the Shoker shows up in their box and he's like, "Hey, I bought this ticket too." And they're like, "Oh, okay." And but then the ice starts to melt and gas explodes from it and these thugs run in and start rob- robbing everybody including the joker yeah poor and guy s- he just died yeah. and now he didn't rob i know really <laughs> and then batman show up on ice skate but this doesn't make any sense because the ice was kind of blown up and melted at that point <laughs> Dude, so that's what when i started reading it, i was like wait a minute so the robbers robbed all the people and then ran down onto the exploded ice that's magically back down again, and Robin and Batman borrowed skates from the skaters to skate out on the ice. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Does, does yeah. any of that, that, like, the rest of the story could make, that is the most far-fetched thing in the whole story. Even the Joker coming back to life. None of that well, even makes sense. My favorite part is when ba- Batman's skating around singing, roll out the barrel, we'll have a barrel of fun. <laughs> <laughs> and jumping like, over the barrels. <laughs> well, anyway, there's a giant fight on the ice rink, and they beat them up, but they all get away. I'm almost positive you should charge Batman for a kill here, because he kicks this guy in the neck with an ice skate. <laughs> ice skate. He does. <laughs> it's bad. It's I, blood think he gets out of him with, I think he gets him with both skates, too. Yeah. Now, my next question. So, wait, in your version, is when he's kicking that guy, is there... Is it red? It's red. It's a red splotch. Yes, a like, red yeah. splotch. Okay. So when you go down to the next panel with Robin, is the tip of Robin's skate red too on yours? No. Because no. on mine, that's also bloody. It's as slippery, isn't it? And no, no, no. It's like little chunks of ice shooting up where on ours. But on the tip of on mine, Robin, where his uh, his legs uh, hitting the guy. It's red, like he's stabbing the guy. Oh, no. no. On ours, it's not. Or on yeah, mine, no, it's, it's not. not. It's not. Now, my other question was, the ice exploded. Gas from the ice uh, gassed everybody in the place. But the crowd is all cheering to watch Batman jump the barrels. Yeah, but it's not knockout gas. It's like, what do they Coffin. call it? Like tear gas. Yeah, tear because, gas, but... because the Joker looks like he's sweating with from the gas and stuff. <laughs> it just so, was weird to me that the crowd got robbed, gassed, and they stayed around to watch Batman jump the barrels. They're yelling, hooray, Batman. Well, they're thinking well, Batman's going to get their stuff back. That's why. They're like, Batman's well, I guess. <laughs> and, they also paid, and they also paid for an ice skating show. They, maybe they and think Batman's part of it. They're getting one. So, after they, the robbers get away, the arena has insurance, and people are coming and saying what they lost and getting paid and joker comes in and says yeah i lost a gold watch and five hundred dollars in a wallet yeah. and they're like okay and then yeah, but is that how it works you don't have to file nothing they just hand you stuff yeah just handy cash yeah oh that's what you lost here you go buddy well i think <laughs> when it's uh, i do remember seeing stuff like this before in other media and stuff so really? maybe there's something to it back then huh Anyway, the Joker walks over to Batman and Robin and shakes Batman's hand and gives Robin a, a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he tells him to go get himself a soda. Yep. And Robin throws the quarter away and they're like, we're going to find out. We're going to find what the Joker's up to. And so they go 
they go back to his hotel and they're like, we're so stupid. He's using Morse code from this thing. I know. They, now they look up. They've been watching the damn hotel <laughs> for a week. And now all of a sudden, oh, look at that. That Look at that flashing sign. Yep. So, yeah, they're right. They are <laughs> stupid. <laughs> but Batman and Robin, since they figured they're going to go up to the Joker and skip, break into his room. But Joker's waiting for him. And invites them in. This is the, I don't understand this. He invites them in, and now it they're trouble no for breaking in. It makes no sense. They don't break in. No. Yeah. So he breaks in, and there's two cops in there, and Joker says, arrest them for burglar, burglarly. And the, the cops Bur- are like, burglarly? Burglarly. Burglarly. You can't get that out of there. <laughs> That's burgerly. a weird word. Yes. <laughs> God, I'm sorry. I like the way you said it. <laughs> but... Two cops are right in there, and Joker says arrest them. So the cops are like, "Sorry, Batman, we got to arrest you." And he's <laughs> because, like, "Because you were invited in, and then you yeah. came in. You're now you're in trouble." Yes, he didn't even steal anything. They can't even arrest him for <laughs> robbing him. They he didn't him break for in. in there. Nope. He didn't do anything. He was but visiting. If, he got arrested for visiting yeah. the Joker. If, and about, the Joker said, "Stop by and visit me sometime." Yeah, he did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't get it. Uh, but he, Batman says, give me one minute, and Joker takes out his watch and about to time him, and then Batman turns the whole thing around and says, hey, look, that's the watch he got insurance for, so you have to arrest him for it. And, and they, these cops just do whatever they're told by everybody, yeah, don't they? But that could have been <laughs> a different watch. It I say been. he could have took his insurance money and bought a new watch. Yeah, on his way home, he stopped at the jewelers. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> it's ridiculous. But the Joker doesn't even try to explain himself. He just jumps out the window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's like, up, oh, you caught me again. He jumps out the window and it jumps into a army jeep. Yeah, he just uh, beats up the army guys, too. <laughs> <laughs> he just beats up military soldiers. The Joker is, you know, badass, apparently. <laughs> You idiot, I'm the Joker. More important than your your whole silly army. Yeah, they're army guys. And then he tells the guy to get out of his Jeep. <laughs> he says, no hitch riders in, in, in his Jeep. But, and Meaning so he, it's my Jeep now. It's really yeah. funny. It's neat. And, but, um, Bat, he, so he drives away in the Jeep. Batman and Robin get in the Batmobile. But Batman remembers they're close to their house. Yeah, so, and Robin's yep. driving automatically. Like now, yeah. Robin drives after they taught him to fly. Now, and now he drives all the time. I too? guess. I guess nine year olds are just allowed to drive. I don't yeah, know. I guess so, but Batman goes to his house to get the Bat plane. So now we got a chase with the Batmobile and Bat plane. Batman's directing Robin where Joker's going, and then I, I don't know what happens between this panel and the next, but the Joker crashes. Yep. Yeah. And it ends up on a bunch of power lines. And starts sh- and Robin's jumping after him, and Joker starts shooting him, and Robin kicks him, and the, I guess another power line whips him in the face somehow. No, no, no! Uh, the, Robin the rope. jumps, and he gets the rope from the bat plane, and that's oh, what and the whips rope the Joker hits in the him? face. Yeah. Okay, and then the Joker falls into the ocean th- again. Oh my god! And, he must be dead. <laughs> and and Batman's like, "There's no sign of him anywhere." But then no living thing could withstand the pounding of that waters. It's like the seventh time he's fell into the ocean. Yeah, yeah. His, I his swear, getaway is jump into the ocean. I swear it's the same cliff and all that they've used for every <laughs> time the Joker be. dies in the ocean. It's the Joker's cliff. <laughs> it literally is the same cliff every time. Ro- Robin wonders if he, es- if he escaped, but... Instead of leaving us on the cliffhanger with this, we get a scene of the Joker back in his apartment and his goons saying, boy, this sure is a life bookending the whole thing. And the Joker <laughs> says, oh, well, I suppose the Joker's holiday had to come in end sometime. So the, my, once again, favorite, go ahead. my favorite part here, though, is that the Joker crashes into a boulder. That's kind of a clip. Ends up on a power line, but the point where he's going into the water, it looks like he's falling off the cliff. There's no power lines in the in the part where he's falling in the water. <laughs> yeah, there's none. It's just a cliff. It's Joker's yeah. cliff. Right. And then we end with it saying once again, a hunted man. The Joker moves on towards craftier crimes, and the next issue of the Batman. <laughs> but. I don't know if it's the actual next issue of the Batman. Or- it's the, it's well, not. it is. It's Batman it, Eleven. Yeah, well, that's what the next issue is in real right. time. You know how we all, you know how we do it chronologically, kind of. 
which yeah. I'm not sure you said that at the beginning of this episode, but I'm not I positive. Did. Um, the next, the, the literal next released comic is the Joker again. For which one? What's Batman the- number 11. Okay. 11. So it would be, okay. So Detective Comics and Batman continuities finally team back up together? Maybe. Maybe they're finally Only for this. around again. Yeah. Because it seemed, because we we're, were going two separate continuities with the Joker for a while. Yeah, I we think were. maybe it just caught back up. I'm yeah. telling you, I think they wrote those Detective Comics out like months and months in advance, and then they were doing the Batman comics when, you know, when they came around. Maybe. I don't know. So, here, what do we got here? Appearances. <laughs> um, Batman, Robin, the Joker, and Charlie. I guess Charlie's the guy with the beard. Why else would they name anybody else? Right? The beer. The guy who's yeah. drinking the beer. I guess that's Charlie. I guess, yeah. And then we got Gotham City, police headquarters, Wayne Manor, but um, the Gotham prison isn't on here. <laughs> <laughs> they, don't, they don't want to advertise that prison. <laughs> and the Wait. Batmobile and the Batplane, that's all we got for this. Is uh, the guy drinking a beer? That's I think we, it's a foamy beer. Yeah. I thought he was eating an ice cream cone. I think you're right. I think it's a beer. And the whole time I thought in both panels he was eating an ice cream cone. So, that one was kind of ridiculous, but it's one of the better ones we've had in a while. Yeah, so, the was... whole thing is far-fetched, but I really liked it. I, thought I liked the story it, too. Was good. I really liked it, too. The Joker does it. I know you didn't like that one Joker that one Joker one we had, but... I didn't. I, but yeah, this I one it. I really liked. And it was so off the wall, but they kept the whole thing off the wall. So I kind of, I th- I liked it. I thought it was good. This was right, and we kind of tore it apart as we read it. But actually, I think we all enjoyed this one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I it was like I said, it was ridiculous, but it was an enjoyable ridiculous. Yes, I agree. The Joker was classic Joker in this. I liked the Joker. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I liked about this. Oh uh, man! All right, I guess that's it for this one, huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, we we got the whoa. You don't try to get out of here without a joke. <laughs> <laughs> Why does Batman wear a mask? Why? Because the citizens of Goth of Gotham aren't morons like those idiots over in Metropolis. <laughs> you get it? Because Superman doesn't have to wear a mask. They don't. Know. Yeah, no, I got it. It's yeah. just have they read a Batman comment? The cops are just as stupid. The no, the citizens. The citizens are okay. <laughs> uh, oh, okay, sure. <laughs> Well, but Superman wears a mask. Yeah, not as Superman. He wears a mask as... Clark Kent. Clark Kent. What? His Clark glasses? Kent is the mask. His glasses. His glasses. Well, I'll technically the whole, technically the costume is him being clumsy, and no one can possibly think Clark Kent is Superman. <laughs> That's the whole thing. That's why people don't believe it. Sure. And then, anyway, that wasn't a joke, Uncle Chris. That it's was like a, a comparison. It was like a comparison or something like that. It's just <laughs> like a st- like a state. Someone being mad at the people of Metropolis for not believing in Clark Kent Superman. I'm not worried about you. My thousands of fan letters about my jokes are what <laughs> I, I do this for. I didn't do it for you. I don't care if you like my jokes. I just you saying. told us earlier you don't even like fans. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't really. Like, I don't like fans like blowing on me. Well, if your fans well, are getting too close to blow on you... you yeah, I know. Stop it. having them blow on you. <laughs> this is getting out of hand. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Bye. We're done. Bye. TJ here from Comics and Us, just here to plug the social media. Check us out on Twitter. Our handle is at every T and Us because someone took everything and us, but the name of the Twitter page is Everything and Us Podcast, and then the handle is at every T and Us. You can also check us out on Instagram, which is also Everything and Us. These all encapsulate all the podcasts that I do, but these are going to find all your updates for Comics and Us anime and us so forth and so forth you can also contact us right now at everything in us podcast at gmail.com still working on the website and until then that's where you can get a hold of us that's all thanks for listening talk to you later bye